In August 1860, during the Second Opium War, the British-French Allied forces landed in Tianjin, known as Tianjin then, and after a fierce gunfight occupied Dagu Force. The Qing troops had withdrawn from their defensive positions behind a 20-kilometer long adobe wall which protected the Senga Rinchen garrison. The foreign invaders climbed over to open the gates of Tianjin. That winter, British officer Charles Gordon led a group of Anglo-French forces up the high river where they drove a stake into a silt wasteland drawing the boundary of their so-called concession. This action marked the beginning of Tianjin's colonial history as a major coastal port. Merchants, adventurers and missionaries from the west flooded in. Western-style architecture began to dominate the skyline and a modern city was born. Zhang Yue is a PhD student at the Tianjin University School of Architecture. She's accompanying her tutor, Professor Zhang Qi, in renovating the old Astor Hotel. The hotel has a history of about a hundred years. It's one of Tianjin's earliest Western-style structures, built after the Second Opium War in 1860. Postcards published a century ago show how it originally looked. Since Zheng's research is directly related to the preservation of historical buildings, her mentor asked her to collect and analyze historical data on the hotel. We As the design team searches for historical data, some local volunteers join the project. Tong Wen Chuan, an antique dealer, has organized a small group called Memory of Tianjin on the web. They are keen to preserve Tianjin's cultural heritage. The team discovers that the Tianjin Housing Administration Bureau Archives hold some files on the Astor Hotel including a complete set of design drawings from 1886. They are exactly what the team is looking for. While studying them, they're...
rows of shabby earth houses. From here to the sea road, there were mainly sorghum fields, puddles, and some cemeteries. Charles Gordon penciled Riverbank Road, streets, and building plots on the map of these undeveloped lands. Later in August 1861, the lands were sold to the highest bidders uh, under 1, clear 000, conditions. 1,000 going once. Uh, 15, 1,500 going once. Going twice. Existence is only known through historical records. If the mysterious drawing is indeed of the mud house, it'll be a very valuable find. Thanks to the construction records of eight six, the design team gets to work on the renovation details. However, there's a new problem. These drawings only show the building's interior. According to historical records, both the external and internal walls were covered with cement as early as 1921. But some gray and red bricks are seen in the damaged parts. The team members continue searching for evidence of the original 1886 incarnation of Chinese and English publications dating from the late 19th century. There are also many local newspaper articles from that period, which the team hopes will offer clues. Until 1870, with the consolidation of the dike of the High River, a flat street was built, linking the old customs with the east of Astor House Hotel. The main road was long, straight, and flat, decorated with elm trees on both sides. Moreover, beautiful houses were erected one by one. The concession began to boom. De 1880 à 1890, durant cette décennie hyperactive, ce port de commerce a ouvert sa première chambre de commerce, son premier journal, sa première route son premier chemin de fer, son premier parc et sa première bibliothèque. In the last 30 years of the 19th century, many historical figures contributed to Tianjin's success as a booming modern city. In 1870, Li Hongzhang served as both governor of Zhili area and Northern Ports Trade Commissioner. This political heavyweight of the late Qing dynasty was effectively the Chinese Minister of Foreign Affairs. Zhili 
这个设在南京的南阳大臣而设的，但是直隶是皇帝的钦差，他有权呢和国外签订各种条约，因此呢，直隶总督衙门呢就被外国人看成为是中国的真正的外交部或第二政府。Li Hongzhong made Tianjin the center of Sino-foreign exchange. Foreigners had to go to Tianjin if they wanted to approach the Qing government. In the late 1870s, the Tianjin British Municipal Council elected Gustav Detring the new chairman of the board of directors. He is an independent minister. He is a democratic minister. He is a democratic minister. 它组成那么一个，就像按照英国那政治制度组成那么一个市政机构来管理这个租界。他呢，他是董事制度，董事长是德翠林。这个德翠林是在天津是很重要的人物，他也是天津海关税务司的这个呃总税务司。那么他也是李顺德的股东。Detring was greatly appreciated by Li Hongzheng. He played an important role in diplomatic relations of the late Qing dynasty. He also started China's modern postal service, taking charge of large dragon stamp designs. As a shareholder of the Astor Hotel, Detring introduced a generator and electric lighting in the early 1880s. The hotel had already started to offer telegram and telephone services before this. It was among the first hotels equipped with electrical appliances in China. During that period, the Astor Hotel was still just the mud house. Its shabby appearance was no match for its luxurious in-house facilities or surrounding buildings. 到了十九世纪八十年代初，那么我们从《经文杂记》上也可以看出，就是英租界的建设已经，啊，具有了非常啊良好的一个规模，啊，这就是啊所谓马路宽平啊，啊啊洋楼成行。Detring and other shareholders decided to rebuild the hotel. The team has scoured Tianjin and found many historical records and precious old photos of the 1886 design. This photo is from the 1886s restaurant photos. The photos are white and white. But there are a few photos like this, which are made with a dry-dried photos. From these hand-tinted photos, people can see that some of the bricks on the exterior walls were gray and others red. What was its original appearance? Nobody knows. As the architects continue to rack their brains, Tong Wenchuan and his friends also investigate the building's original color. 解放北路上可以说是最高古的几座建筑，呃，他们的呃建筑年代基本一致，所以他们的建筑清一色几乎全都是这个青砖、青石墙，呃，所以说利顺德本身这个它的时代特特色也跟那个相符。我们据我们的推断，它应该也是这个青砖建筑。Tang Wen Chuan posts findings on the web.
操的记录方式。With the color issue resolved, the renovations begin on what seems like a journey back to the time when the building was originally constructed. Eighteen eighty-six was a year of many firsts. Earlier that year, the Germans bore the world's first vehicle, Benz patent motor wagon. In the U.S., John Pemberton invented the formula for Coca-Cola. And in Tianjin, construction of the city's first railway station began. Not far from the railway station, a new building was being erected to replace the mud house by the High River. The renovations begin as scheduled. Everything goes to plan, but Jen Yue faces another problem. She wonders whether that mysterious drawing is the mud house. Unfortunately, she's disappointed by the results of further investigations. 十九世纪末的一份《京津泰晤士报》上发现了当时董事会在报上发布的一份决议。这个决议上就说呢，在一八九六年的时候，饭店新建了一座洗衣房，而这个洗衣房的布局和我们找到这份图纸的布局是吻合的，所以就是说这个图纸不是礼物，而就是一座洗衣房。The mud house is both the product of and a witness to Tianjin's opening as a treaty port. Unfortunately, it's been lost in history, so people can only imagine what it looked like. By July 2010, renovations have been finished. The Astor Hotel once again stands in all its glory by the High River. 在修缮、恢复，呃，历史德的这个过程当中，我们是带着一种情节。历史德呢，本身是一个在天津非常具有代表性的啊近代历史建筑，呃，同时呢，它也是天津近代历史的一个窗口。所以的话呢，我们不仅是外延，包括内装修，都力图呢，回到我们当年一百多年前的。下午好，欢迎来到我们利顺德博物馆。